So in our last video, we talked about an air conditioning system that tests good, but it's not really cold in the car. Welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. Now, we talked about the evaporator, that's a little radiator that has cold refrigerant going through it. 99% of the time when we diagnose a problem on an air conditioning, we're looking at something that's not making that evaporator cold, like the compressor or something like that. In this case, I'm looking at my evaporator temperature and it's approximately 57 degrees right now. That's actually pretty good on a dual air conditioning system. I would look at more in the high 40s if it was a single air conditioning system. But here's the problem. It's 57 there. It's 61, 62 coming out the passenger side, which is not bad. We lose a little bit of temperature through the ventilation system, but then it's 66 degrees out of the driver's side. So the problem is we have doors that operate that control the temperature. And so we're having some issues with those doors. The other thing is, is when I check the air volume coming out of the vents, out of the two sides, I have about 1,350 CFM, but out of the middles, I'm only having about 950 CFM. And the reason for that is it's directing some of the air down to my feet when it's not supposed to be. So we have a number of door problems in this car that is causing us not to be as cold as we should be. Also, we could have a similar situation like we had in the back, which is lint buildup on that evaporator. We can't see this one without major disassembly, but it's likely we have that as well. So I hope you understand a little bit more of how the air conditioning can be cold, but not actually cooling you. So thanks for watching and until next time, safe travels to you and blessings.